You've got money, you've got fame, you've got everything that you could possibly want. Why did you feel like you needed dog fighting? I wasn't fighting for the money. I like the competition part about it. Michael Vick's fall from grace. Did you ever break down? Broke down plenty of times. Yeah. And his fight to get back. Even in my darkest moments, those are the times when you need to lean on Christ. The saga of an amazing NFL quarterback, Michael Vick, risen from the ashes. Tremendous testimony. We're going to have an exclusive with that today. It was an act of self-sacrifice every time they got in those planes. And, you know, it, it, within the, the, the Christian faith, that ultimately is, is the absolute core of that. Put yourself on the line for your brother daily. Through adversity to, to the, the stars. stars. From the last plane to the last bullet to the last minute to the last man, we fight. 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 I've never experienced the body of Christ like I did that day. It wasn't the things that they said. It was just there was genuine love. They loved us. I had so betrayed them, and they loved us. First and foremost, I know I am a child of God. Come on. From Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. And I went, wow. Yep. And when you really get mm -hmm. that that's who you are and that God is boss and that God is in charge, and that that person who's telling you what you are, those words don't define who mm -hmm. you are. God defines who you are. Absolutely. And you're okay because you're his child. Come on, Christy. I could keep on Amen. going. Amen. <laughs> Marco, this book, it, it's a story of, of incredible triumph and tragedy. These people suffered. Your folks suffered. I mean, it was unbelievable what they went through. What, what drove them? Well, I think what drove them initially is when they were my age, they had their own dreams and hopes. As one of the things that you realize when you write a book is that your parents once were your age and they had kind of the same hopes and aspirations for themselves, but it was not to be for them. They didn't speak the language well enough. They didn't have enough education. And so their purpose of their life became to give us, their children, the chance to do everything they couldn't do. That became the purpose of their life. That for them became the American dream and we're living it. And I wanted to pay tribute to America and to them by writing their story and then, of course, how it's led into mine. And I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I am free And I won't forget the men who died Who gave that right to me We've got to get it right 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because bad guys only got to get lucky once. So it's an imperative that dogs are properly conditioned and trained. Paul Rusha makes sure the dogs are at the top of their game. Handlers train the dogs in detecting explosives and narcotics on and off leash, tracking, trailing, and patrolling. Football. It's always been a man's game. And it's been that way for over 100 years. But here at Louisiana State University in Baton Rouge, there's one woman who hopes to take the field with the guys. Walking into any prison, I don't care how big and tough you are, you're not the biggest and the toughest there. They'll stab you, they'll get you in the morning, they'll get you when you're not looking. There's a different demeanor. You don't bump into a person in prison because you can get killed. They want to Islamize the whole island of Basilan, but this is impossible because here, the Christians and the Muslims live together. Emil, a government spy, also witnessed missionaries Martin and Gracia Burnham in captivity. I saw them bring their hostages. They walked to the jungle and the hostages were tied to each other. Kevin had suffered three strokes. The invincible Hercules was now incapacitated. He had a talk with God. And I just broke down, I cried. I, I felt like there was a death in the family. I felt like somebody had died and it was me. George Burns, mm. who discovered you? Yes, he discovered me. And he said, uh, you wanna come to Vegas with me? <laughs> <laughs> That is part of the casting process, to find actors and performers that can take the actual scripture and make it sound relevant, make it sound real, to make it have that motivation behind it that sounds like the characters are speaking it off the cuff. Whoa. What is it? My scanners indicate it is a personal jetpack, only far more compact and efficient than any previous design. 
In their temples, priests performed sacrifices and studied the stars. And some believe they predicted the end of the world. The Mayan long count calendar is even more accurate than our own. But it says that on December 21st, 2012, the long count of time will revert to zero. In 2010, at the age of 35, he joined the New York Mets and posted one of the best ERAs in the league. I have spent a lifetime trying to control things, people, you know, sports, and it wasn't working. It was crumbling down around me. And it, God brought me to the place where he said, enough, give it up, you know, surrender it. And the more I trusted God, um, the bigger he got. The, the air started vibrating. I just heard a loud noise and went chicka boom, boom, boom. There was all this black stuff. I mean, like heavy, dark black smoke just going by the window. It was an F-A-18D Hornet that had malfunctioned right after takeoff from the nearby Oceana Naval Air Station. It slammed into the Mayfair Muse apartment complex in a highly populated residential neighborhood. India is only one of many countries where child marriage is thriving. Each year, some 10 million girls are married before they turn 18. The practice is most common in Africa, the Middle East, and South Asia. Even though Ramili and her family were Hindu, they prayed to Jesus for help. In the meantime, the pastor contacted CBN's Living Waters team. It wasn't long until drilling equipment arrived in their village. As an answer to our prayers, CBN came to our village and built us a well with a hand pump. After seeing how much God loves us, we accepted Jesus as our Savior and got baptized. We are the light of the world, and we are the city on a hill. We are the light of the world, and we got it, we got it, we got to let the light shine. Great to have you here. Great to be here, Gordon. Thank you. You sort of become a hero uh, after that episode, and have have job applications started to come in? Are you, are you getting swamped with people that will want to come work for you? Well, it really was an incredible response. We had 18 million people view the program that week on Undercover Boss, and I was overwhelmed with the response we got from people all over the country. And it was really their frustration in their day-to-day -day work, mm -hmm. and they wanted leaders that, that cared about them, and they liked what they saw in our program, and it really showed me we had a, a leadership crisis in this country. I was trying to show legislators this is what happens when we step out of line, and can't is not an option for me, so I ran for governor. So and I am proud. I am proud to say that I, one of the first bills I signed. Now, every yeah. legislator in South Carolina has to show their votes on the record, and we went a little step further. They now have to show their vote on every section of the budget, so we can actually see their spending habits as well. It's just one example of the community development projects Operation Blessing is working on throughout the country. Another is these little guys that make up the organization's aquaculture project. And sometimes we've done a very poor job of reflecting God's heart in how we interact, even with people that we love the most. Sometimes it's the sometimes most difficult. The yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. I got, you know, daily Christian television. I'm pastoring a church. I'm a father. I'm a, I'm a counselor. I mean, I've got all these activities going on, and you call me spiritually lazy. I had to be the all-American dad. I had to be the perfect dad because I'm a Marine. I was so desperate, you know, I would uh, run out of money. We didn't have the money in, anymore and, and no car. And it was just a real difficult time for our family. What I wanted to do was give my sons a measuring stick, if you will, a, a standard to look at so that when they ask themselves that question, do I have what it takes to be a man? They'll know what it means to be a man. They'll know what a man looks like. Okay, so they can conform themselves to that shape. Oh, wow, look at that. Just a minute, let me get downwind. Yeah. That is beautiful. It just screams summer. A thousand little things, a thousand little things, the moments of your mercy that every new day brings. Oh, a quiet porch, a sunset view, a lazy rain. We leave you with these words, my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus.